Hey friends, welcome to Putting Up With The Pon Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair. From the way we style and care, as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. To all my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. All right, so here we have my youngest baby girl, Calissa here, freshly washed and ready to be restyled for the next couple of weeks. So I have been loving her curls lately. And now that I figured out Kehlani's curl pattern and how to get that definition with that soft, touchable curls i am now challenged to try to achieve it now with calista so i'm going in first with the pretty strands leave-in conditioner a very lightweight mist leave-in conditioner with a lot of heavy hitter oils in there and then i'm going to go in with the shine effects conditioning gel because i want to do a corn roll going across the top of her head so she's going to have a corn roll crown and then the curls are going to be party in the back and that's exactly what i love to see on my girls because it keeps their hair out of the way but also allows their hair to be free and soak up all of this beautiful summer sun. So if you are new to our channel and this is your first time meeting my beautiful girl Calista here, my youngest of the Pom Pom sisters, just a little bit about her hair background. So she has these fine, beautiful curls. So if we had to put a label on it, I would say probably a 2C, 3A. She has this nice blend where her hair is wavy when wet. But when dry, she has this beautiful volume and all these gorgeous curls with a nice spiral. Now, because she has these fine hair, it can be very thin. I do take very care when it comes to styling her hair. So a whole lot of tight styles, which for any of my girls, I try to stay away from styling their hair too tightly. But with Calista, I'm definitely a lot more cautious just because I don't want to cause extra breakage to her already fine hair. So once I've created those two braids going across the crown of her head it's now time to play with those curls in the back to bring out that beautiful definition that I love to see on her. So the method to my madness I like to work in three sections when styling her curls so we're going in with the very back then we'll play around with the middle and then the very top of the curls. So I'm going in with this new product by All About Curls and this is a boosting foam my very first time using it and I felt that Calista's hair having these fine curls that she has this this lightweight boosting foam would definitely work best for her. So what I look for in any kind of products whenever I'm trying to get that definition out of their hair is that clumping method in those curls. If the curls are not clumping, the product is not producting and you need to move on to the next. But as you can see here, she has a nice clump here and I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to leave them alone just like that because I want her to have more definition than volume for this style. If I want her to have more volume, just go in behind the boar bristle brush that I use to define her curls go behind that with a wide tooth comb just to kind of break up the clumpiness of those curls and you'll definitely witness more volume now for the top of the curls I like to add a little bit of a lift so the curls aren't all kind of like stuck to her head so my method of doing that is I pull the hair up towards the sky and then pull it down to bring out the definition on the ends and this is going to lift those roots so everything doesn't look completely flat so that was quick, easy, and painless. Took no more than five minutes and only one product. Now I'm gonna go behind her curls with this product. This is the Black Sea Baby Grow and Glow Hair Oil. And I'm just scrunching this into her hair to kind of break that cast. It wasn't much of a cast on there, but this is just my way to make sure that her hair is nice and shiny and soft and touchable. I'm then gonna go in with this Unicorn Snot, which is this gel with glitter in it, just for some added accessory and color because we love color over here. Ooh, 
Now on to style number two. So this is gonna be another quick and easy style and one of my favorite go-to styles for Callista throughout the week. So she is freshly washed here and I'm starting out with a middle part going straight down into the nape of her neck. Now I want to do something a little bit different. This is like a little spin on the traditional pigtails. So I'm gonna go in with a triangle part right in the front. And in this section of hair, we are going to make three additional Additional sections and add some colorful elastic rubber bands. I definitely prefer elastic rubber bands over the traditional rubber bands just because elastic bands have this nice slip to them. When it's time for me to remove them from her hair, I don't feel a bunch of tugging and resistance like you would usually experience with regular rubber bands. I'm then gonna go in with the Design Essentials Leave-In Conditioner. I've been using this product for about a month now with my girls. It smells so good and it has so much slip on it and it definitely helps with adding shine and defining their curls. Once I've had finished her rubber band style in the front of the head, I'm now gonna move on to the pigtail section of this hairstyle, brushing everything upward, and I'm also going to include that hair that I have Callista holding out of my way for the moment, using some hair ties that I purchased off of Amazon to uh, hold everything together. Now, all of these products and all the accessories that are mentioned throughout my video, you can purchase all of these things through our Amazon storefront, which is linked down in the description box. You can also check out our website at www.ponponsisters.com where you can shop the girl's favorite products that I list for each girl as well as the accessories and tools that we use throughout all of our tutorials. Last but not least, it is now time for style number three. So here I have Callista, and her hair is in this rough ponytail because I washed her hair and didn't feel like doing it, so I just threw it in a ponytail. So she is in need of moisture and some detangling, so I'm going to do that real quick, going in with some water to spritz it and our detangling brush that I use all the time. So for this style, I wanted to do uh, two ponytails but instead of going straight down the middle I decided to do it from one side like a deep side part and going across at a diagonal angle I guess you would say and then I'm going to create another part parallel to this one and we're going to do some cute rubber bands in the middle of this style. Since it is summertime, I have been a lot more lax with the girls' hairstyles and hair care because they're just sitting around the house. It doesn't make sense to have their hair like completely done to the nines for them to lay around and play video games. So most of the time, their hair is in a simple braid or a simple twist. For Callista, a very loose ponytail um, just to keep their hair out of the way until I get time to redo it or restyle it. But school is opening up next month and the girls will be back on a regular hair routine for me styling and caring for their hair. So we'll definitely be doing more and more tutorials throughout the school week. And then with the holidays coming up, I love to do cute and beautiful styles um, to be festive for the holidays as well. So make sure that your notification bell is on to catch our videos. We upload every Saturday and Sunday.
So I squared off small little pieces of hair from the, that skinny part that we created down the middle of this style to uh, take some of the elastic bands and rubber band them. And this is just kind of like adding a pop of color. It's not really doing anything. I promise you it's nothing stressful. But I do make sure that I don't have it too tight because I don't want those rubber bands to be breaking off those small pieces of hair. You are going to experience some kind of breakage using rubber bands, but try to keep it minimum as much as possible. I'm then going in with the Camille Rose Curl Love Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff smells so freaking good. I love hair products that smell good. It's not overbearing. It has this nice, soft, sweet smell. So far, I have used this product on Callista and Kehlani, and it makes their hair so freaking soft. And it definitely helps with clumping those curls to help with that definition. Now, I did not soak in wet Callista's Kay hair this time because I didn't want her curls to be like super super defined I wanted her to have more volume here now I'm just going behind that ponytail that I created making sure that those rubber bands aren't pulling too tight and if they are I just kind of loosen them up a little bit from the root of uh, the ponytail going in with the boar bristle brush to uh, define and smooth her curls and this has to be my favorite tool to use on all of my girls when it comes to defining their curls well at least for Kalissa and Kehlani for Kalia and myself the boar bristle brush does absolutely nothing at least I haven't figured out the trick of the trade for our texture but for Kehlani and Kalista, it works perfectly I am touching up her roots a little bit with some gel just to help with the flyaways and smoothing it through with my fine tooth comb to make sure that product distributes well you don't want it to clump up because it can flake on you if you have like an excessive amount in your hair going in again with that boar bristle brush to smooth and define her curls and she is all done i am going to add a couple of new hair bows that we purchased off of amazon these cute glitter bows that matched her birthday shirt it was her birthday on this day so this was her birthday hair and she looks super cute and she is all done And that completes our video for today. Thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. Do not forget to hit that thumbs up if you liked any of the styles in this video. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.